approximately 4.08 p.m. on June 4th, 2021. Approximately 20 minutes ago. I witnessed an exchange of currency. I'm working around 12th and Bainbridge, so I'm parked on Bainbridge for a couple hours. And as soon as I get in my car, I thought I, I, I thought I heard a sound like, I heard it in my spirit. And then I sat and I said to myself, so I, so I heard the Lord tell me, he told me, uh, he told me to prepare for some action. So I heard that in my spirit. And so the woman went out in front of my truck because a guy pulled over in front, like turn like that, and then she handed him some money. And then he went off. I've been listening to Nick Vanderlei. Here's how here's what I get out of Nick. And I've been watching him for a while. Uh here's what I get out of him. Well he said it, nobody the Elijah type is or the Elijah end time prophet is not going to be he's not going to be campaigning that he's Elijah so but as he's telling you these things he'll he'll, uh, he'll give you the like the clips and then he'll he'll be like things like um, as he's getting ready to cut and he'll cut he does a lot of editing and cutting and as he says, he'll be like, and and here is Master Yeshua speaking. And then you'll you'll see a um, you'll see like a like some kind of any kind of thing to to grab your attention as to what he's telling you, how he can relate to whatever it is that he's saying. And then as he says, and then. Here's Master Yeshua speaking. Matthew 24, 11. And many false prophets will come in my name, saying that I am he. And there you have Master Yeshua saying that many false prophets will come in his name. And they will say that they are he. And... And then the the Master Yeshua Messiah from heaven that's sitting at the right hand of his Father, many will come in his name and say that he is is he that him and will deceive many people because he is not him, but they will say that he is him. So as I pay attention. I'll show some, when I get time to do it, the examples of the Elijah type at the end will not be campaigning that he is Elijah. However, as many signals as you can possibly get with every basic chance that you get to to say that that's exactly what the 450 false prophets will do they will campaign as Elijah without saying it However, it's one of them things you can't prove it. You can't prove what nobody said anything. It's it's unprovable, except for the fact that you can prove it to those that can see that the actual court of law, the ones that created the laws and they're behind the scenes and they can see everything. You prove it to them because they're the ones that hired all those people to, to do that thing. 
uh, or it's just it's maybe it's just another person that has caught on to their language and is speaking the languages to them in in his own way as to what uh, what he is or case messiah you see how many was used regarding the many people that are coming. And remember what the demon said after Master Yeshua the Messiah asked the demon its name. My name is Legion, for we are many. Wow. So all of these people claiming to be this person all have demons. Wow. So I understand that the Elijah type person won't even reply, My name is Legion, for we are many. Wow. So all of these people claiming to be this person all have demons. Wow. So I understand that the Elijah type person won't be campaigning as Elijah. And all you out there who are claiming to be him, you all have demons. And I hope you repent. So now that we got that disclaimer out the way, I want to talk about the last couple of videos I did on Elijah. Elijah, the lowercase son of man. These videos I did on Elijah. Elijah, the lowercase son of man. Yeshua's end time servant. And also Elijah, the Ezekiel 33 watchman. So here's how I see it with Nick. Nick, um, he he's he's accepted the fact that Master Yeshua Messiah, as he says, is a physical, literal human being that runs heaven above us, and he knows it. And and it, although he's not camp campaigning to be Elijah. The end time servant. He couldn't send any more signals, simply just to the fact that it's him uh, that he's talking about. And I appreciate that about him because what he does is he helps me learn more about what, like who, how, how that side is. Whether you believe or not, it doesn't even matter. How that group of people that he knows is I, I know him too but he knows him in a different way the, that group of people they all know that um, well that there's a person that's a literal master Yeshua Messiah and then there's the then there's the lowercase the lowercase um, son of man. And remember how birthrights are swapped. Just just always understand, birthrights are swapped. So when there's somebody that came from heaven, and, and then there's a person on earth that's not campaigning to be Elijah, uh, so Nick is... Nick is, he's okay with the understanding from that group that interprets it that way and it's going to be played out that way regardless of what you believe, how you feel. You can't do anything about it but just deal with the fact of how this world's going to go. Now, some people have the understanding there's if there's going to be more suffering continuing and they're going to be the ones putting suffering on people with evil intent. And then there's others that understand that we're at the very beginning of, of the, because the ending is here. And there's others that think that there's three and a half more years of, you know, the torment of us. But we've already been tormented for the, if we're at the halfway point, well, the tables turn on who was tormented. And it's a, because it's a seven years of tribulation. Well, for who though? The Antichrist makes a covenant with many for, and you know, in the midst of the week, he causes the prayers to cease. And so, as things are played out in a seven year period, so it'll be played out in a seven day period. And that's how I see Nick. Nick knows who the Master Yeshua Messiah is because he hired him and hired him and the others that. Are all playing the same the same uh, particular person, and then 
but the reality is they're going to be calling on their god Baal, and Baal's not going to Baal's not going to. I mean, he's going to hear them. He's going to hear what they're saying, but he's not going to do anything about it. And and then that's where I get with the different Elijahs being played out, the Ahabs, the Jezebel, and how one one understanding would be. It's in your. It is in your spirit, both of yous. And when you cast Jezebel out of you, then you're casting out Jamie the Wabbit. When you finally cast Jamie the Wabbit out, then it's just you, Ahab. But Ahab is more afraid of Jezebel. That's why it's it's harder for Ahab to get things done because he has a dominant spirit over him that controls him and then until you cast that Jezebel spirit out of yourself if you have a problem if you have an issue with it then you're going to be controlled by just the other spirit that's dwelling inside you the, the two now the reality that this master Yeshua Messiah and then being the, the premier, like he's the premier a, as a physical person, the world script has taken the spirit that's only spirit and says that this is this this is the man. Is that the man right there that causes it? Yep, that's him. He's he's the one that is there as the spirit in heaven is only a spirit in heaven however it will be played out as it is in the literal heaven so shall it be on earth so that things come down here that's why new jerusalem comes down from heaven through the messenger that would be the uh that that Eli that elijah type because how nick is explaining it is the spirit is an actual human being above him. He's accepted that, calling him God, basically. But he's okay with being second in charge uh, because it's that's the way that kingdom is. But the person that, that's in second in charge is really first in charge as the king. But not the actual king physically on earth, more of a prince, but the king of heaven in the spiritual realm as a prince under the king, second in charge, of the Pharaoh, the literal physical human being on earth that would be playing the spirit of Master Yeshua Messiah. So basically what happens is it, it makes more sense that the one that was playing, the one that that comes, just moves over into a seat. And it's just everybody just goes into their seat where it's supposed to be. Only until that happens, it's like that thing that spins around and the balls bounce around and there's openings. And until that final ball bounces in the right spot and it's filled up, there's going to be moving chairs and everybody's going to be playing games and running around and just not, you know, not just sitting still in their spot. So to be second in charge next to Pharaoh, what well, if Pharaoh's the the uh, it is like the um, the top the top spot and then you become second in charge like Joseph because Joseph interpreted the dreams for the king and the king's servants couldn't do it just like King Neb same thing it's it's like the same exact story here's what the Bible is to me the same exact stories different names different uh, different times, settings in the Bible from before Old Testament, New Testament, same people, same same people, different name, same story from from beginning to end, like Christ, like Daniel, like Joseph. In in Christ's story, he got nailed to the cross and, and beat the piss out of him. In Daniel's story. It did the same exact thing, but he was elevated, lifted up, 
they went through the fire, yeah. I mean, the, uh, the, the lion's den. He wasn't there when his the three buddies were put in the fire, but there was someone that looked like the son of God that was in the midst of the fire with them three, his buddies. And then Joseph, well, he went to jail for a couple years because he wouldn't uh, sleep with the woman that was trying to, the king's wife trying to set up, trying to sleep with him. And then because he didn't, then she set him up and then he did a couple years. But because of the couple years that he did, and again, there's people playing out, you know, that they did a couple years in jail. And and then they start their their mission, even though they're at the end, but to get you to believe we're at the beginning. So it's all the similar stories. And then the outcome is, well, it's the same outcome, but how you interpret the beginning of the story to the end of the story is going to determine your the, the feelings that you attach to somebody's interpretation. If you get irritated at people's interpretation, it's because you still have a problem with yourself and you react off your first initial thought because your first thought is your flesh. The spirit, that's why when it says, Master Yeshua Messiah, which is Jesus Christ, this, which is the spirit itself, Christ spirit. Look at it like this. Nick is breaking down the Christ spirit, putting that in a human being that is above him, and he's okay with that, and he's all right with being second charge, and separating the Christ spirit from Jesus, the actual man that has the, the spirit connecting together. So there's, there's a way he has it separated where it's a human being that literally runs heaven above us, the land as a human in the in this flesh and says that the the lowercase man is a sinner and the master Yeshua is not because there was no sin so if you understand in your own vessel your spirit that comes from Christ cannot sin because that's the spirit that does not sin you're in your body, so you're, you still have the tendency to do it because of your flesh. But that second thought is the, is the Christ spirit. Until you condition your first reactional thought, fleshly, carnal mind, until you condition your, your first thought to be Christ-like, then you, your first thought is you. Now you're, you're, getting, you're catching on like, all right, I've shut up because you're tired of hearing Satan talking to you like trying to get you to do things just just irritate you or whatever put fear in your heart anxiety worry for nothing anything he can get you to do so if you condition your your first thought when you can't take it captive and you you put it in prison and don't even react towards it see where it's coming from it's like a conveyor belt of satanic thoughts first thought first thought first 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 Cain was born first first thought Abel was second Cain always had the first thought and just reacted off of his flesh and that's why the world is the way it is because they're because the ones that are in charge they don't think twice they do now but they didn't at one point so it's just you react you react you react you don't care about anybody but yourself and then you heap up all these treasures and you and you're greedy and you and you you're lazy because everybody does work for you and and you don't care and yeah you got you take care of your family uh, everybody in your entire crew is good for life and their children and children but all of uh, the rest of us uh, who cares so when you go at your second thought you'll you'll think twice and then you'll condition your first thought to be your second thought now now all you're doing is thinking for yourself what happens when you wake up? You're, before you woke up, you pretty much didn't even say a word because where was your voice inside of your spirit? It wasn't there. When you regret what you did, wasn't that your first thought? Anybody that goes to jail for certain things that they did, anybody that made a very bad decision, you thought, I, I should have just, I, I just waited like a minute and 
I shouldn't have came around that corner at that time. I should have just left it. I should have listened to my intuition, my, my gut feeling. And then when you, when you regret the things that you've done, it's because you've been thinking first and reacting off it. So with Nick, I feel like he definitely accepts to be second in charge towards, because he's willing to call another man father, God. Nobody should be willing to call any man on earth Father God. And don't be looking to be called Father God either. Because the, the messenger that Nick is talking about, he's replacing the Christ Spirit with a human being. Therefore, everything is passed one niche down. Everything in the Bible, every character can almost be mistaken for the, for the next character that comes right after him. And if, if you can just switch one from the other, it, like, look at it like this. If you, can, if you can switch, like if Joe, how's this go? If Joseph is in charge, or if he's in second in charge, but then the Pharaoh is pretending to be Joseph, and then Joseph the Pharaoh, and if if one person says, "All right, yeah, well, I don't care being being second in charge," or even if Daniel would have said, "Sure, Bell, uh, Bell Shazar, I'll take your uh, I'll take your gifts." And I'll be third in charge. So he's like, nah. So what Daniel did was, uh, keep your gifts to yourself. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I've been telling you for a while now. The writing's on the wall, and your kingdom's up. So that's just the way it's going to be. It's going to happen, and then you just deal with it. Because he wanted to put a gold chain around his neck. I think dress him up in purple, like scarlet, like mock him. Like, right? Like, dress him up. So Daniel didn't accept the gifts, but he did get rewarded at... at that's the thing. If you jump the gun, if you think, oh, we're, we're at that time, and so this must be that person, and they're going to offer you gifts, but it's not, because, because the reality is, when the world comes to an end, well, the world has to come to an end. It, the powers that be when everything falls flat on its face the world system has to collapse doesn't it like doesn't the money have to collapse or does it only collapse on those that do not receive and comply with this order that all right so i tested it i said the words ah oh, man who would have thought that you say what? Anything about what you think you know? Who's on first or second? And if you don't know that you're not supposed to be third in charge, well then you won't know what you're doing because you were supposed to be second. But the reality is you're actually who? Uh, and... That way, when everything gets shuffled around, it's the author. Who's the author of confusion? Exactly, the same one that is on first. So apparently, you you really are not allowed to say anything against their beliefs. Isn't that some shit? Uh, but I had to test it. That's why I have a strike over there, and that's why I'm talking on this. this uh, the summer's here. Summer is near. Uh, summer is here, channel. Because it was three months ago when I uploaded a video. Now, alright, so all that's out of the way. The taking the actual spirit and putting it into a human, but it's not really that person. And so the, the human, the 
this is how I see the this is how I see the end time Elijah type that Nick is talking about. It's going to be somebody that it's going to be somebody that when if they try to say again, uh, Father, it's it's me, I, I'm your son, Jesus. B believe it not. And if it and then if the other side, the other side of the cabal says. Hey, Jesus, can we... Don't listen to him. You, you know you're Jesus. This, this guy, he's trying to... He's trying to play you. Just don't listen to him. Look, I know you're Jesus because I'm your father. I'm in heaven. I I run the... I rule everything. So it, it's nice to meet you, son. And then it's like, nah... I mean, in in the system, like the system that's being played out, you can accept that that's how that is in the system because it has to be played out like that. But the reality of the Elijah type, so whoever the Elijah type is, I would assume would be somebody that will not accept worship for himself. If you try to say that he's God, he's not going for it. If you try to say that, well, you're not, you're not God, but I am God. You're my son. He's not going to go for it. Because the messenger came with the spirit of Master Yeshua, Messiah, and is speaking the words because as a sinner, uh, the lowercase uh, Messiah, uh, Yeshua, the, the messenger isn't greater than, than the one who sent him. Well, the one who sent the messenger is the spirit period there is no human flesh that you can point to and say that now you might look at someone and be like well um a, a teacher because you taught them and that's fine you can be a teacher but But refer everybody to the Master Yeshua Messiah teacher, which is the Spirit of God that dwells in heaven, that is perfect. There is no sin. Because your second thought is sinless. Your second reaction that you react to is sinless. If you always listen to your first thought and always reacted off your fleshly initial first thought, You'll sin and sin and sin and sin and you love it and you don't care and it's just what you want to do because that's the flesh. Now, the Spirit of Christ dwells just... It's just it dwells inside of your mindset and your soul if you have it. And then you'll think twice about things instead of getting ready to sin. I don't know. I don't want to do that. Second thought. Second thought is sinless. Second thought is the Christ spirit. The second thought is perfection. Because the first thought is nothing but flawed. Because you've been conditioned to believe Satan doesn't exist in the spiritual realm. And he does. And he believes in God. But he's trying to get you to not believe in even him that he exists because if you believe that well then you don't believe in God because God's the one that created Satan so how can you not it's just full circle you're screwed with your understanding all the way through and so there's there's the again there's the Ahab and Jezebel in the one body that has all that say in the world like a almost like a like a king uh, a king Nebuchadnezzar because there's a period you know he he comes down here and lives with the beast of the earth because when you come from up above and you come down here to this hellhole, you're living amongst us 
And then the other interpretation of the King Neb would be living like an animal. So he parties like an animal. I think that's the inky side, if I'm not mistaken. Parties like an animal. And so fulfills that part of you believing it. With that group, that would also be the separate ones where it's Ahab, a, a person here, and then Jezebel. And they're like twins, like in the same system, playing out those roles. But their boss is playing out the, the literal singular role. And then, so they, the, the other ones that are playing the game, they're playing those too. They've been playing it for years and upon years, and the vision's almost fulfilled to fail. And then you have another, you know, regular type of people that isn't truly well known, but is to the to the people that are hired to to do those things. And then they are also they also have the Ahab and Jezebel. Uh, they have the Ahab and Jezebel spirit, and they really do have the Ahab. So it's not like it's like a it's not like a like, it's not true, because it is. But what happens is, my nose just itches. It's not. I don't claim to be Ahab or Jezebel. I don't claim to be anybody. I claim to be Robin Henry Tees, the person that hopped onto YouTube that isn't part of any of your organization and just did his homework for free and just wants to share with everybody as just a messenger that tells you what I've seen and and here here's here's what it is this is this is what i've seen in my lifetime and and i see what comes with that i see it i see it coming i see it when it does come but when you're prepared for it you, how can you do anything else but just be prepared for it and and just know this no matter what happens with this world which is happening right now we're 70% of the way done because 70% of people have complied with the thing. The, the, uh... So it's not about me. I want to stay up and communicate with the people. But I understand it's just, you know what? You have your little party. Have your little thing. Just have your control. And <laughs> yo, yo, we got him. I can't wait to get him. Strike two and three. All right, hey, go spray paint over there. Yeah, right where he works today. He's going to be working in that unit today. Yeah, yeah. Put some ramps up there and XX and XXX and rest in peace Robin and you're freaking done. Don't fall for it. Just know that there's a restoration like Job's family.